What is going on, everyone? Welcome to Season 5 of Redeem the Trash. Um, with me today, I have Jay and Aaron, both of which are um, in the league as well. Jay is a longtime member of the league, uh, all the way back to Season 1? I think Season 3 was when I joined. Got it. And then yeah. uh, Aaron, of course, uh, you know, helped me with all of my team building and everything last season, uh, first time player in the league as well. What do you think, man? I'm here to beat you. That's, That's all. No, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like that. <laughs> like the, I can't, cra I, I can't tell you how many like crazy ideas I ran last season that were all like Aaron's brainchild. <laughs> Seriously, he has like some of the wildest ideas, and it's insane. <laughs> I'm I'm so excited to to watch Aaron uh, team build and and play this season. Like, yeah, I, it, yeah, honestly, team same, my favorite man. part. Yeah, honestly, same. It's gonna be a blast. So, uh, this season we have a little bit of a change. Uh, we've moved from uh, 110 points to 100 and we've also added in some additional pokemon uh moving the total points like the total maximum points a pokemon can be worth uh from 18 to 20 from last season and then of course uh pokemon have been changed power you know by point tiers and everything else in between um so you know magmortar after winning two seasons in a row got you know nerfed hard by going from like 12 to 17 or something absurd so yeah, deservingly so I, I mean honestly yes um <laughs> but for some reason they no one decided to touch Morgrim, so like <laughs> that, that was definitely a mistake yeah, um, i'm not gonna complain <laughs> and uh of course you know you saw that opportunity and you said run it back D dude it's, seriously uh, it's I'm running so it back excited. season i'm uh, so excited I'm here to retain my 100% record against you at RTC. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, have have you and I played, like, I think we've only played in, like, one draft league together? Yeah, I played in the first one of, uh, of LRL, and I don't know if I ever played you, actually. I actually don't know I, either. If, if we did, you beat me, because I went 0 for whatever. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, gonna try to keep my my streak alive. You know, try to run it back, get a second trophy. We'll figure it out. Obviously, as the season progresses, um, eleven regular season games followed by top eight this season. Right? Is that correct? Uh, yeah, I believe we're going back from uh, I think it was top ten last season yeah. to uh, top eight this season. We're getting rid of the uh, play in matches. Again. Yeah, and this I... is a round robin. Correct. Yep. 11, yeah, 11 rounds of round robin. So everyone plays everyone followed by top cut by seed. So um, if you follow the season, if you followed season four, uh, very similar structure and everything. And uh, just, you know, a, a few Pokemon have been added and removed. I don't think, I don't think anything was actually like banned out. I think everything was just like moved up or down. Yeah, yeah. We uh we kept all the same Pokemon from last season. I think there was only additions made. Uh I could be wrong, but I, I don't believe there was anything taken out considering we only went up on point totals. Yeah. I think I, I would have to go back and look at like both rosters yeah. to see and that's that's a task for another day. And I don't remember anything bannable from last season. That was like Honestly I everything last season was just like, Yeah, that was good. But like like yeah. obviously in like the retrospect of like VGC, um, you know, like Vikavolt, I believe last season was the overall kill leader, uh, if I remember correctly. And like that's like obviously a very good thing to say is like this was the most offensive Pokemon of the season. And in like VGC it's just like not even slightly playable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so... right, this this season it was picked in the last with the last pick of the draft as well. It it went all the way to the very last pick. So I um, seriously consider multiple times taking Vikavolt. Uh if uh, if I too. didn't blow my budget in like the first like six picks, I probably would have. Yeah, it's very expensive. It uh it definitely got a bu a buff from last season up I think it was at like fourteen or 13 last season and, and now it's up to like 16. 17 i think yeah just 16 like, yeah now, so very very deservingly so again um and yeah it's that that it gets so much coverage and it's just a monster 
So are we are we ready to get into it? Starting with uh, we, the way we're going to be doing this, uh, we're going in pick order. So it's going to be one through twelve. Um, I am not smart enough to put this spreadsheet together that we have. Thanks, Aaron, to actually doing this. There's four categories oh. we're going to be covering. Uh, there's VGC tools, speed control, damage control, and then damage output. Um, which then I just took an average of those, and that's my overall grade. Um, each each category is going to be based out of 10 points and uh, looking at my board I think there's only one thing that I have 10 points for yeah uh, I no, I that's, that's Aaron's gradings I don't want his oh. I want mine well I I was uh it sounds like I was a lot more generous than you both were. <laughs> <laughs> I think my lowest is a four so oh, wow yeah my lowest I think is an eight Oh second. my god! <laughs> oh jeez! Uh, I have a single three. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, I was very generous. I think with everyone. I think that when you're looking at you know the Pokemon that we're using, putting in any semblance of like a good team on paper is a difficult thing. For sure. And for sure. Um, so I think that you know I was kind of grading them. You know, I'm sure you were too, based on like. Uh, how they each go into each other, but like I feel like with all of these teams, any team could really beat each other on any given day. Yeah, for so sure. A, a lot of my rankings ended up being very high, very mm -hmm. similar to one another. Like there really was no standout team that I'm like, oh, this one is yeah. you know not good or anything. Or I was just gonna say that too. Yeah, there's no there's no one that's really you know league front runner for me at this point. Um, I have there's a few that are that look a little stronger, but. I have one with an overall of 7.75. .75. I have two that high, and then everything else is like uh, – I don't have anything below like 6.25. So <laughs> I, feel like I, cop I feel like I copped out now. <laughs> <laughs> Jay's just going to be, be passing out tens left and right. <laughs> Seriously, no. It really, it, really, uh, it really is a lot of tens. And uh, I mean really my – I, I feel like I need to explain now my grading system. I was kind of looking for just like checking boxes for the most part. And if That's you fair. like checked all those boxes, I was like, oh, you got a 10. So like with like tools and stuff, since we're getting into the rankings, I kind of was like, oh, you have fake out, you have this, you have trick room, tailwind. Yep. Oh, these are all really great tools. You have a, a wide variety and a wider amount of things that you can do. Uh, that's That's probably a 10. So yeah, yeah. So that's, uh, um, that's my grading system. Very generous. VGC <laughs> tools, I feel like, is like the one that like doesn't like on face value doesn't make the most sense because there's like a wide variety of things that that could mean. Um, so like you said, you know, things like fake out, intimidate, uh, like redirection play a big key into that. But like overall team synergy, I I is where I ranked like VGC tools. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, for myself, you know, I have, like, this sun team going on. So, like, that's very synergistic. And, like, if I get to do the thing, it's obviously very good. Um, and I believe there's also, like, a hail team. And I'm just like, yeah, that's obviously insane. Like, if <laughs> if they control the weather, they're going to be able to do their thing. And it's going to be very good for them. Um, yeah, it's not even, like, the good version of hail either with Aurorus and uh, Arctivish. Yeah, it's, there. like, yeah. Beartick and Obama Snow. <laughs> And uh, that's coming from somebody who wanted Bear Tick on their team this season. I think Bear Tick is great. Like, really, really good. I was very upset when it was picked. So, um, just, just like, thinking about it just a little bit, there's there's a lot that really goes on in, in team building. I know, like you said, these teams on face value, obviously, when you're comparing them to... Like the Rinya Sun team, like you all, you know, you you, you all put up a video of it. Um, <laughs> these are nowhere near that power level. These are these are meant to be played against each other, obviously. So when we're talking overall power level, we're talking in in a vacuum in this league, not well. Obviously, this is the best team you could be playing in VGC. Let's go do it. Um, these these Absolutely, teams are yeah. clearly meant to be played against each other. You're not you're not gonna you know looking at this first team we have up, you're not gonna be going out and playing Duskull in VGC. That's just not something you're ever gonna see. So, um, first up here we have 
uh, Apple and the Liberty Bell Sprouts, consisting of Mr. Mime, Galarian, Aromatease, Golork, Rapidash, Vileplume, Wishy Washy, Ninjask, Sock, Duskull, uh, Galarian, Linoon, and Vikavolt. What do we think, guys? Uh, Ally Switch. Oh, I'm, that... I'm not going to lie. I didn't even consider that. Yeah, I think every single Pokemon on this team gets Ally Switch. Um, does Wishy Washy? I believe it does. I, I believe oh. we were talking about this in the Discord the other day. Apple's gimmick and like something that Apple's really known for is uh, his willingness to play Ally Switch at almost any moment. And I think he's really uh, diving fully into the meme here and going with the full Ally Switch team. Okay, um, and, uh, and Wishy Washy reason, but... and Sock both do not. Oh damn! Um, I don't. Th- I don't think Rapidash or Vileplume do either. Rapidash definitely does. That's obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, spoiler alert: so does Galarian Rapidash. Hell yeah! Which we'll talk about later. Yeah, Hell yeah! Love it. <laughs> But yeah, it, this this seems like pretty pretty interesting. They they have like this sun component between like Rapidash, Vileplume. Um, like I, I've played Vileplume in, uh, I think it was like season one of our LRL draft league, and like it was good there. You know, being able to have like stab max ooze to be able to put out like a, a ton of extra damage, get your boost onto whatever's next to it. Um, just like chlorophyll sleep powdering people is also just obnoxious. Um, I don't think, just looking at this, I don't think, like, Mr. Mime or Aromatease get access to, like, Sunny Day. Um, so if they're gonna set Sun, it's gonna have to be through, like, Max Flare, I believe. I, I think Mr. Mime, he, um, Mr. Mime might get it. I'll check quickly. But, um, yeah, no, it this, does. this team is... interesting. Yeah, this, this team has, like some really cool modes uh vioplume completely destroyed me in top eight of ldl uh, this season um really really good in the sun um rapidash is kind of just one of the premier sun pokemon in this format it's fast uh it hits really hard it has a lot that it can do and uh, I think that Apple supports his team really well with like a really good trick room component as well with Aromatisse and Golurk and Vileplume to an extent outside of Sun and Vikavolt, of course. I think when I when I was a uh, recorder uh, rating this team, I, I think I underestimated some of the moves that these Pokemon have. Like, uh, like Duskull and Mr. Mime having Sunny Day are obviously going to help your Vileplume. Um, Aromatisse gets, gets... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Aromatisse gets uh, way more than I thought it did. Uh, Sunny it's... Day and Rain Dance is just like everywhere. Yeah, beautiful. Um, you have like, I mean, yeah. This this team has a, a lot of veil. Um, yeah, sorry. No, you're you're good. Um, this team has a lot of like really interesting like components to it. Uh, like Ninjas being able to potentially like baton pass away like a sword stance plus a speed boost can be very critical um like going into like a golork at plus two attack plus one speed that can just win I mean, games it's, by itself it's also the fastest thing in the format by it's, For like, sure. without it's yeah. without its ability even <laughs> so then you, you add in like, like, rapid dash with it and just sweep games that way <laughs> Uh, like Linoon has access to Belly Drum as well. Vikavolt, you know, we've talked about uh, multiple this times. one does not. I it don't doesn't. Think. Linoon's sure garbage, man. I think Line this this one does as well because I think yeah, I was running a Galarian Zigzagoon in Deepak. Uh, oh, it doesn't actually. It doesn't. No, that's so wow. bizarre. It does get Parting Shot, and uh, yeah, it's fast. It's got some. Is its ability when it's like burned, quick, can its speed goes up? Feet, yeah, feet. Um, it has like some interesting things like fake tears as well. Um, icy, icy wind, wind parting shot, yeah. like you talked about. Um, switcheroo, taunt. It also has access to like thunder waves, um, baby doll eyes. Like it, it's actually like a pretty decent support Pokemon when you actually get in here to like the nitty gritty of what's going on. Yeah. Also, sure. it can hold it in a violate. That's something that you probably like should consider too. It's got you know decent stats. Yeah, sixty one on both of its defenses plus seventy eight HP is like pretty decent bulk when you when you slap on a, an Eviolite. Um, Wishy washy, I 
like is also very good. Um, mm-hmm. I don't I don't know if it was played last season at all, but like the damage output from like a max wishy washy is absurd. Yeah, it has 140 base attack and special attack, <laughs> which yeah, is just it's, obnoxious. Its schooling forms stats are just ridiculous. 140 attack, 130 defense, 140 special attack, 135 special defense with 30 speed. Like you have this bulky trick room Pokemon that just hits like a truck. The the uh, trick room mode on this team is absurd. Between yeah. Golurk, Wishy Washy, and Fika Volt, you're just gonna be able to put out so much damage. And if and you Robert ever is good too. If you ever get to like baton pass uh ninjas speed boost to anything, you're it's just like it, it can easily win games. Yeah, definitely. Um overall this team came out to a seven two five on my on my end. Um I I think everyone else gave them just like flat numbers. <laughs> I think I gave it nine point five. Perfect. Wow. <laughs> uh yeah, I, I was a little harsh, I think, when I was uh giving this team its uh, ratings um but i think it, i gave it a six but i think i probably could uh upgrade that a little bit because looking at some of these moves it's it's got the tools it definitely has the tools so that brings us yeah. to our two seed with the uh brisbane bidoofs piloted by blake consisting of sigilith um lantern cryogonal crustal gmax alchemy uh hoen linoon bolton hitmonchan malamar onyx and ice q uh, first thing i'd like to talk about here they they do have access to like good speed control with like a- access to uh trick room on malamar or tailwind and or tri- uh, trick room on sigilith as well as well yeah, as sigilith like- is probably one of the better supports in this uh for sure in this league i think it, wonder skin is crazy it you just can miss your taunt half the time is that how uh, that works is that how yeah that works? it's a 50 percent a... yeah sorry no i'm sorry it, it also gets a tinted lens so that it can hit uh just everything neutral across the board dude i yeah, seriously sure. didn't know how wonder skin works this is so absurd <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, so just half the time your taunts don't work. Uh, and, like, crazy. this thing can also just be, like, fi- like specially offensive with, with Magic Guard, Life Orb, and a base 103 oh at special attack. Yeah. Or, or a Tinted Lens Life Orb, so that you just, nothing can switch in to be a resistance yeah. on it. Yeah. Like, this, uh, this thing can do a ton oh, yeah. of damage. It's a great one, yeah. Tinted Lens Air Slash, I think, from no... Uh, special attack Sigilith did like fifty percent into Thunderous T and ran <laughs> in rotating multi battles the other day. It was it was ridiculous. It was That's one of the craziest absurd. things I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, but on top of like Sigilith, I think they also have really good speed control with Lantern and Cryogonal with uh, Icy Winds. Um, Wave. Crustal yeah. has Shell Smash. Uh, I don't know if Bolton gets uh, Electro Web, but I know it definitely gets Nuzzle. Um, so no electro web but no electro uh both web. thunder wave and nuzzle and it also yes, has like like strong jaw can be like physically offensive depending on the move set um mm-hmm. or you can also just be competitive which like yep. works out really well when you have things like uh your crustal. It definitely has tools yeah. yeah like you know crustal obviously wants to be intimidated uh hitmonchan has inner focus so it's immune uh onyx obviously is not going to be like an offensive powerhouse but i mean it, it walls every physical attack coming at it for the most part. Mm-hmm. There's, and then there's you have a lot to like. Belly drum, Linoon, and belly drum, Ice Q. Um, there's lots of setup here. It's, it's a little scary. Mm-hmm. How many? There's also a lot of anti intimidate with like Malamar and uh, Boltund as well. Mm-hmm. How many Mons in the league have access to redirection? I know there's Tangela. Not many. There's uh, Fungus. Five or six. Togepi. Togetic is legal, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. And, like, that's kind of it. Like, off the top of my head, I think that's it. E- uh, no, Toga- Togetic is not legal. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so there, I think there's three. Uh, Butterfree Fungus. has Rage Powder. That's, Butterfree. That's a, that one's new to this season, right? It was banned yeah, last season? It was, it was in RTT3, though. Got it. Yeah. 
Yeah, and then just Togepi. Uh, Clefairy's not legal. Clefable, Clefable Togedic. Yep. Yeah, Clefa doesn't get uh, Follow Me. Nope. So, like... <laughs> Because I was I was uh, seriously considering drafting Cleffa, and then I looked at his move pool. I'm like, this is just like way worse Clefairy. <laughs> yep. Yep. So I was gonna say like this team really wants like a redirection mon to be able to do crustal things, but in reality, there's not that many. You're not gonna have access to it on a majority of teams. Um, mm -hmm. So I think that like the teams that do have it, I think is a very big boost for them. Um, just being able to basically shrug off any attack that comes your way for one to two turns that is very useful um but you know overall i think this team is very good it has a lot of things working for it um its speed control is like i, I put it as a five but in in retrospect it probably should be like a seven because having access to multiple forms of like icy wind and nuzzle and stuff is very good as well as like your um, I like the versatility on the Sigilyph. For sure, um, for sure. Both directions. Sigilyph yeah. being able to be, like, physically, like, offensive or purely, like, uh, supportive is very useful for it. So, overall, I get, this comes out to a 6.75 on my end, but, like, that's not that much lower. Like, just because it's in uh -huh. a 6 doesn't mean it's not a good team. There's there's no team below a six on my skill, and there's no team above an eight. Like there's there's nothing in those ranges. So yeah, I gave it a seven here. Um, maybe a, again a little bit um, a little bit harsh on. I, I I gave it a four on damage. Out or sorry, damage control. Um, I I do know that a few of these will get light screen, um, but there's no like intimidate here. Um, there's probably some snarls like in Bolton, uh, but I yeah, know. I, I think the the other thing that I weigh in on like damage control as well is like how well can you switch your mons around into each other? Like, um, mm. and like obviously mm. you know mm -hmm. Onyx is very useful being able to switch in on like physical attacks coming in, but at the same time, you know if it ever gets hit with like if you ever make a bad switch and get hit with a special attack, it's just dead. Like, yep. it, it doesn't matter what the special <laughs> attack is; it's dead. <laughs> Uh, I, I actually gave this team, again, a 9.5. Um, I think that it's really strong. I think that there is a lot of damage to be done here. Uh, like, Alchemy is honestly a really scary uh, Dynamax target uh, with its G-Max form, and then also is really good uh, supportively with, like, Choice Scarf with Decorate. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the damage control I definitely think was also lacking a little bit. I think the versatility and speed control is great, Being having Trick Room, Tailwind, Icy Wind, Nuzzle, Thunder Wave, and a lot of Pokemon that can take advantage of that. So I, I really think that Blake has a has a great team here and excited to see what they do with the season. Agree, yeah. So that brings us... There we go. Uh, that's going to bring us to our third team, which is mine that I clearly drafted and no one else did for me. Um, <laughs> so for those who are unaware, I have had phone issues for the last like three months. So I don't have Discord on my phone. So I can't do anything when I'm at work. And uh, like I was telling Jay before we started recording, this week I have not been home basically at all. So I gave Aaron like a list of like, three months per round i'm like just go crazy do what you can make it work so this is my team that i built that aaron drafted <laughs> there was there was nothing that like he had to improvise or anything that's just, like th every pokemon here i wanted in some capacity so um we have morgrim tangela luxray vulpix executor flareon shellos lunatone blissey avalug and shuckle what are your thoughts, guys? So, I think my team's clearly like a perfect 10 across the board. So <laughs> It absolutely has this really interesting sun mode. Um, and Vulpix, Tangela, Executor, Flareon. Like, you, you can either go fast or go slow. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that there's a, a way around that. Um, maybe, maybe Tailwind would be nice here because then you can have your Flareon go a little faster, but... You have Executor that can, you know, like Chlorophyll, Sleep Powder, or same with Tangela as well. Um, and then you have uh, this other, the other slower mons here. You have like uh, the Lunatone that can set your Trick Room. You have Avalog, 
you have Blissey Shuckle, which is going to be I'm so you know, excited. Very, hard, <laughs> very hard for people to uh, to deal with if they don't you know have uh, some way to either you know phase it out or uh, you can't taunt because Shuckle will probably be holding the mental herb. I mean, you We're can't away all my has... secrets, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying there, there, there's a lot to consider here. Um, and then, I mean, you have Morgrim that's going to be, you know, hell to deal with as well. Um, My goal this season is just to show people that Morgrim should not be at 12 points. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I think you already proved that last season. I think that Morgrim definitely, that was an oversight. And I'm, but, I'm uh, so excited to abuse it again. When when yeah, I saw I, think, I was picking at three, I'm just like, all right, I'm taking Morgrim. I don't I, like no one above me gonna take it, right? <laughs> no, and they did it, and you went right for it, and I don't blame you. But I think uh -huh. your team looks really really solid. Um, I wanted to say, you know, off topic from like the actual competitiveness of the team, the uh, the Flareon Executor uh, combination. They have an alt art uh, V Max card together. Uh, do like they the yeah it's in one of the uh the packages it's like one of the the sets it's like the flareon v max set and it's like a really nice card and it's it's awesome huh. so i like seeing them together but i think you have like that sun component uh like aaron was saying before that's really solid you're supporting that with like storm drain from shellos since you have this uh some water weaknesses with vulpix flareon and lunatone uh blissey shuckle is just a nightmare for anyone to deal with um tangela one of the redirectors as we were saying anyone who has one is uh you know has that edge because they're so valuable um and uh -huh. morgrim is just you know the one of the best support pokemon in the the format uh, right Right. along with intimidate and everything else this team is really really solid that was that was like one of the things i really felt like i was lacking last season was uh, like a form of redirection and intimidate, and mm -hmm. I, yeah, th those I, were both really high priorities for me this season. So you have the second highest VGC tools, in my opinion, here. Um, and the other person being uh, with the higher one is Jay. So uh, <laughs> I think that you have a lot of tools here. Um, the the only thing that I think you're lacking on is is your damage output. Yeah, and, there's there's not a lot yeah. of like. Uh, Max Airstream is going to be running around from this team. Um, basically, yeah. the speed tiers I'm at is basically what I'm going to be staying at all all game. There's there's not a lot to uh, to add to it, but you know there's something that we we haven't really mentioned is every Pokemon has access to Max Strike. May it be like Hyper Beam or Giga Impact mm -hmm. or just mm -hmm. Tackle. You know everything has access to it in some capacity. So every Pokemon technically has a form of speed control in the form of Max Strike. Um, and honestly, I think that can be really impactful for, for this team in particular, you know, where my speed tiers are kind of right there in the middle where nothing's overly fast, but nothing, you know, outside of like Shuckle and Avalug are overly slow, um, where, you know, there's a lot, lots of different things that can go positively for it and being able to, to use it appropriately can be useful. Um, of course, Luxray and Flareon both can have, like, guts as well. It's so, like, there's an extra boost in, in damage output if I really need it. Um, Blissey, of course, has access to, like, Helping Hand. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head if anyone else on this team has access to Helping Hand. I don't think so. I also don't think so. Maybe. No, I'll just... Maybe, yeah. Uh, I'll just say, um, I, I was also really looking for... Um, a a very uh bulky normal type and blissey was on my radar um this thing gets some really really cool support as well it gets uh aromatherapy ally switch it gets heal pulse um life do if you need it and then seismic toss you can just whittle things down or you can run some special moves it's, it's a very very nice mod. you just you know obviously can't let it get hit by anything physical luxray and shuckle both have access to helping hand nice as does executor okay i lied this team's great yeah and flareon <laughs> flareon i used it last season it was one of my mvps of the season it's uh it hits like a truck it's it can be really bulky um mm -hmm. it's pretty versatile i like the gut set a lot more than anything else but it has flash fire Which running guts i think can actually be the worst thing in the world I think Flash Fire can actually be really useful on this team where, like, my trick room mode involves, like, Tangelo plus Executor. It's like I just get wrecked by Heat Wave. So, you know, being able yeah. to switch in and take half of that for free, 
uh, I think can be very useful as well. Yep, for sure. Yeah, I think that the team maybe lacks a little bit in like damage output outside of Luxray, Flareon, Executor, but you have the annoyingness of Blissey with Seismic Toss that just does such solid residual damage every turn. We'll get there eventually. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and, you know, I know one of your favorite teams is like that Stall Eternatus team. God, um, I love that team. It's and, so fun. And, Blissey is basically like Stall Eternatus of RTT. I guess. Dude, I've I've never actually played like the Chansey Shuckle bullshit. Like to, to put it very bluntly, uh, I've never played it before, and I'm so excited to be the bad guy. <laughs> yeah, I I played against it in Series Ten once and managed to beat it on timer, and fortunately, almost never played it again. But it's it's just a nightmare of a of a combo. I think Dynamax makes it a little bit weaker, mm -hmm. but it's uh if you can stall out Max, you know you only get three turns of Dynamax, and if Blissey's on the turn for on the field for longer than three turns, you know it's uh it can be become really troublesome really quick, especially if you start getting up some minimizes. Yeah, minimize. Uh, I think it has. Does it have access to like cosmic power? No. Dang. Dang. So, I know it, it gets soft boiled, right? It gets recovery. It gets calm mind. It gets defense curl if you really wanted that, but special blissy. Minimize, obviously. Yeah, minimize defense curl, calm mind. Uh, calm mind's like the big one because you also have access to stored power. So like, there's your main damage output. Just calm mind six times, minimize six times, blow them up. Story power. Look, man, get... I've seen enough videos on YouTube of people doing it in singles. It has to be good. <laughs> they, someone, someone used it in uh in Deepak. I think it was Flair, who's one of the moderators, used it on Woobat, and like, that, like <laughs> simple like yeah. plus twelve was do it was it and it was oh, into Riolu. God. I think it did like six hundred percent. Yeah, something. that's absurd. That's cow. great. <laughs> I love it. I'm I, I'm actually really excited for this team. Um, you know, after after the draft was over, I'm like, all right, is there anything I really need to change? And I'm just like, honestly, I'm just going to run it. Um, I didn't make a single roster move last season. The the team I drafted is the team I ended with. And I think that might just be how this season is as well. Just ship it and see how things play out. I think that's always a good plan. That's what I did last season. And my pivots mm -hmm. ended up helping me a lot. Like picking up Surfetch later on was, was a really good call. So... You know, I think you have something really solid going into the season and can definitely you have like a lot of high point mons that can uh, be potentially traded down the line for something, you know, maybe with more damage output or uh, better support. So we're in a grand tens across the board. Uh -huh. All right, cool. Nine, nine point five. <laughs> well, that's just rude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just going to right click over here on Jay's name. Go down here to ban. <laughs> ban him from the server. Ban him from everything. So this brings us to our fourth seed uh, with Foiled and the Santa Cruz Sligoos, uh, consisting of Cramorant, Toganamaru, Quagsire, Scraggy, Mr. Mime, uh, Amolga, Toxicroak, Behem, Sligoo, Miltank, and Corvusquire. Uh, first thing I like to say, I think Miltank is highly underrated. Like, in especially in this league, I think it can just be an absolute powerhouse. I know... Uh, I was telling Aaron, it was actually a bond I considered picking up multiple times last season. Um, and, you know, Aaron was talking about how he was looking for a bulky normal type. I'm just like, dude, go get Milk Tank. It's so good. When, when it's good, it's absurd. And uh, RTT3, E abused uh, Milk Tank and brought it all the way to the finals. It was Hell yeah. just, Love it, it. it was like kill leader, MVP leader. It was just absurd. Uh, they ran like key berry on it a lot with like defense curl milk drink, which was just that's awesome. Pain. And then you can run like the max max sets with uh, you know, I don't know if Toxic Croak gets coaching potentially, but like that could be, you know, something. It does. It does get coaching. I thought it might. Um, that could definitely be something that foiled pivots towards. Um. You know, just to mention, they changed their name from NorCal Cramorants, which is why they pick Cram number one, but. And, and managed to get zero storm drain users with cram. So, uh, you know. I mean, there there's Quagsire gets the uh, what do you call it? Water um, absorb. Water absorb, and then Toxicroak gets 
a dry skin dry as well. Skin, dry yeah. skin. So you at least have the recovery. Um, I know I, I ran Cram, Cram Dilly uh, is what I called it in RTT3, and it was very underwhelming because Cram Rant was, was very underwhelming. underwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think uh, the support of Toga Tomorrow here and uh, Quagsire are both mm -hmm. really good at covering those weaknesses. And, yeah, uh, I think that this, yeah. this team has a lot of. Um, yeah, I rated it a, an 8 on its VGC tools. It's got like the fake out Scraggy plus you know intimidate do this team has um, four fake out users <laughs> yeah. oh wow yeah it does yeah uh, it's really good like it, uh yeah it's a lot of support it's speed control is also really good having access to like nuzzle and or t-wave on togenomaru uh emolga gets um uh, let's see it has access to electro web uh it also mm. has fast encore and helping hand as well um it's another yeah, the Molga being it's it what 101 103 yeah it's a yeah. good speed tier yeah uh, Toga Tomorrow also gets electro web at base 96 oh sick yeah. um and like both of those are obviously very good switch-ins on your cramorant mm -hmm. as well um like there's there's a lot to really like about this team yeah it, you, ha you have a great like uh, a good slow mode too i mean quag quagsire's base 30 i think don't underestimate quagsire man it's yeah. it's really yeah. really good and Behem is really strong on the, uh, oh, yeah. on the special side, and you also have Miltank who's slower. But I think a lot of this team relies on Cramorant, which kind of it relies uh. on like supporting Cramorant and helping it out, which is a little bit of a problem. And that's coming from somebody who loves Cramorant. Mm -hmm. Like I think yeah, it's, it's one of my favorite Pokemon. It's just I think if you can uh, get that Cramorant in an okay spot, like maybe you can you know spam some Surfs. Uh, next to Quagsire or like Telepathy BHM, something like that. Mm -hmm. Hey, we'll uh, Jay, how fast <clears throat> yeah. do you think Miltank is? Isn't it? Isn't it actually like base ninety? It's base one hundred. <laughs> no way! <laughs> I thought it was so slow. Dude, it's so absurdly fast for no reason. I love it. Miltank is yeah. so good, man. I, I, I felt like once you, once you said that, I was like, oh man, I know like, I'm wrong. I messed up. <laughs> yeah, it also gets thick, fat, scrappy, sap sipper, like yeah. sap sipper into mm -hmm. into <clears throat> Quagsire as a switch in. All right, it's got yeah. a it's got great stats honestly all, too. all three of its abilities are very usable um yeah. there was there was one season of uh ldl i i ended up breeding uh three shiny miltings with all three abilities just like i don't know what i'm gonna need so i'm just gonna have all of them <laughs> <laughs> one of each <laughs> yep yeah miltank is like super good uh this team obviously supports cramorant extremely well as well um you're never going to be safe to protect in front of it because they're just going to switch into a different fake out user and get you um you just can't fire off electric attacks into this team because they have multiple forms of redirection there this, this seems really cool i i'm a big fan of it i agree yeah me too yeah uh so this came out to an even seven on my scale i had a seven as well actually. 9.5 yeah good job jay <laughs> 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 that that then brings us to our five seed. Uh, this is Glenn and the Eerie Espers. Uh, this is Magnazone, Abomasnow, Beartick, Starmie, uh, Female Meowstic, Glaceon, Stonejourner, Dragonair, Scorbunny, Absol, and Spritzy. Do we need to acknowledge Scorbunny? Does it actually do anything? Uh, Glenn, I think, it might have been Apple who had it, but uh Rabu was actually concerning last season it does have like court it gets change out switch. and coaching uh, i believe i or, or don't think it's maybe change. maybe uh maybe that's only cinderace but uh, it might get like coaching it gets but, uh, super fang super yeah it gets, fang it's basically ally switch super fang but ton pass you know, but i don't I, mean, I don't think it has any way of like boosting its it own gets, attacks it gets like bounce and sucker and punch is fine stuff um i think like, it's a support mon that that can super fang basically yeah it's... it also fits into the color theme of like the white and blue <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so we talked about obama snow bear tick earlier um we didn't really touch on like starmie plus bear tick like starmie is obviously fairly fast um with its base speed of uh 115 uh, setting up like a max geyser and then you have swift swim bear tick next to it as well like mm -hmm. bear tick is honestly really scary on this team the more i look at it 
Yeah, I think Bear Tick is really good. Like I like I was saying earlier, I really want a Bear Tick on my team. Um, for my rain mode, uh, I think it's really cool. It's a cool ice type that gets Swift Swim. Um, physical attacker, it has like base 130 attack. Pretty bulky. Uh, and Starmie is just really good across the board, whether it's offensively or supportive as well. Yeah, this is. Uh, I've been trying to prep a little bit, and this is a nightmare to prep for. Um, yeah, this is your this is your week one, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, Magnazone. Yeah, uh, Magnazone is insane. Uh, Spritzy gets uh, what is it? Aroma Veil? Is that right? That yeah, sounds so, correct. So like no taunt there. Um, yeah, you have like the fast mode with Obama Snow Bear Tick or Starmie Bear Tick or things like that. It's it's gonna be tough, but. It looks like a very fun team to play. Yeah, their their hill mode also having like Snowcloak, Bear Tick, and Glaceon just like, ah, right, you're never gonna hit me. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this seems really cool. I'm a big fan of I it. I also think Stony J is really cool on this team too, as like a support Pokemon to Bear Tick. Uh, Agreed. It boosts its attack. Like that's why I really wanted Bear Tick because my first pick was Riolu, and I was like, oh, like the attack boosts sound really nice, mm -hmm. and. uh you know, having Stony J on the field, like after a bomb of snow gets KO'd or Starmie gets KO'd or Flip turns out, um, you know, is really nice for Bear Tick. And the yeah, rest you get of a free so solid. It's a free life orb, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like we haven't really touched on Dragonair much, but you know, having access to Marvel Scale, uh, give it that extra big defense. Having Eviolite to boost its, you know, it, its defenses are sixty-five and seventy. Like those are really respectable. And then you, you know, Eviolite it, and then you Marvel scale it, and next thing you know, this thing is unkillable. It also gets Breaking Swipe. Um, Extreme to, Speed. To uh, defense even further. Gets access to T Wave. Yeah. Uh, it, gets, it can it Dragon, Dance Dragon Dance on you too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know Aaron was looking at it pretty hard. So like, I'm I'm pretty yeah, excited to see what what they can do. It. Yeah. It's, a, it's a really cool Pokemon. I think Absol and Glaceon are both really strong too. Like Super Luck Absol is always something that mm -hmm. you can't really prep for. And Glaceon has uh, Icy Wind and Snow Cloak, um, you know, making it really annoying. Uh, and it's a, it yeah. can also be good with <clears throat> Blizzard Spam next to Obama Snow as well. Yeah, uh, the, uh, this honestly has some of the more most damage output I think I've seen in, in any of these teams. It, I put it as a nine. Um, yeah. Fun it's fact, scary. Dragonair has access to Hail and Rain Dance as well. Nice. <laughs> so, like, Dragonair plus Bear Tick is also just, like, kind of scary. Yeah, that, that that actually is, like, really scary sounding. Because then you can just Breaking Swipe after that and keep boosting Bear Tick. Uh, you know, like, just letting it live those physical things. Oh, yeah. More. Yeah. So really this is team. actually uh, my highest ranked team. This is a 7.75 on my scale. Yeah, I have it as a 7. You might never guess what I'm giving it, but I'm giving it a 9.5. <laughs> I don't even know what to say at this point, man. All right, here's Jay's number I, 10 team. I did actually have a whole bunch of different ratings for everybody. We're just not going too in-depth for the... the, uh, the it, it is an average. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm not lying. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this brings us to uh, Jay's team and the Stormvale Steelix. Uh, this team's also really sick with Riolu, Heliolisk, Maractus, Mantine, Haunter, Scorch, Tyrantrum, uh, Galarian Rapidash, Whiskash, uh, Alolan Meowth, and Dewblade. Uh, so first off, Riolu at 13 points I think is highly underrated too. Yeah, uh, it's setting it's setting either Sunny Day or Rain Dance for um, your what Maractus, your Mantine. It's it's gonna be Heliolisk. yeah Heliolisk. It's, it's also coaching it's your Tyrantrum. Coaching, like, yeah. Um, Senescorch, uh, Wizcash. Yeah, yeah. I was I was very split between Riolu and Perloin, and like having coaching, <clears throat> the prankster coaching, just sounded too nice to pass up on, and getting those three extra points let my budget be a little bit bigger. I uh, I really like Riolu, big believer. Uh, Matt and I were debating quite a bit in like preseason of like how high Perloin should be. I'm just like, dude, I think it's worse than Morgrim in every way. <laughs> yeah, so, and like I I think I, I think it's <laughs> it's worse than Riolu in a lot of aspects too. Uh, if you're looking for a prankster Pokemon, I think Morgrim, Riolu, then Perloin are your top picks. 
I probably agree. And somehow Riolu is is worth more than Morgrim is. I I don't know. I what what do we do? Leaving, leaving Morgrim <laughs> no one well. acknowledged it. Just like was, was the best crazy. Pokemon on I my think, team all I season. Think it was higher ranked in in RMB. <laughs> <laughs> See, everyone and was I'm worried about multi-battle, so they just ignored the spreadsheet, and next thing you know, here we go. <laughs> uh, is this Gigantamax Central Scorch? I haven't looked. Uh, it, it is. Okay. Morgrim is nine points in, in RMB. Hell so it's yeah. literally only three points higher in RTT, which is... Uh, the highest ranked Pokemon in this is Incineroar, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is clearly... Half as good as Incineroar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I think your team's great, man. Um, oh, absolutely, yeah. I, I think there's a lot to... Like, I think your switch-ins are kind of awkward. Um, like, your resistances on your switches yeah. can be kind of awkward, depending on, like, what team you bring. Um, but, like, Evie Light Dewblade can do a ton of work. Uh, coaching, obviously, can boost your, your physical defense on anything that you need to... Um, but, like, your damage output is really absurd here with, like, Sunny Day doing Heliolisk or Maractus things, uh, Rain Dance to Swift Swim up your Mantine, to Storm Drain your Maractus with Surfs. Um, like, you just have so many tools. Yeah, like, there's, uh... there's a lot going on here. It's, it's really scary. I appreciate that. That was kind of the whole idea with it was I wanted to basically overwhelm my opponents with as many different ideas as possible that also could kind of fit in work together with yeah. one another so that it wasn't like two separate modes so like carter i know you played my uh my dual weather eggy team yes when, like bdsp yes. was around that was kind of like the inspiration for my rtt team it, it was it was kind of this you know just like different a little bit but now i can bring instead of sunny day and rain dance every single game i can pick my weeks when i want to bring mm -hmm. each or both for that matter so i think it's I think it's very versatile. That's that's why I like. It definitely lacks on the uh, bulk side, though. So I was actually just looking. Uh, Aaron and I play week two. You and I play week three. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So like, just awful matchups back to back to back. Because uh, week one, I'm playing it. Prime, who I think is also just like an absurdly good team when we get to it. So just like yeah. three very good teams right off the start at the beginning of the season. I, I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, you're running the gauntlet. I'm running the gauntlet. I feel like, honestly, this is one of those leagues where it's just like the whole entire season is... A grind, and, and it's just, great. You're just running through 10 inc 11 incredibly talented players with 11 incredibly diverse and extremely strong teams uh, with so many tricks because we know nothing about most of these Pokemon. <laughs> and that's the best part is like, What's really great about RTT is because these Pokemon are so undervalued, people don't know what they do in a traditional sense. But this yeah. group of 12 players are just like, oh, yeah, obviously Haunter's very good. I don't know what the problem is, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like Haunter. I originally wanted Scyther as well, but Haunter is really, really cool. I also really it's, wanted Scyther. How fast is this thing? It's, it's uh, I think, 95. 95 it's got what 115 special attack and then yeah ally switch it's got trick room did you have it last uh, season it's got... i know matt had it last okay. season i was gonna say i know yeah. whoever i played with it it was really annoying <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah it can be annoying in uh in like will o -Wisp. Sense, and then yeah. it can be annoying in like an offensive set as well with uh you know max polter uh Max Phantasm, uh, right. dropping defense next to like Tyrantrum or Rapidash for that matter. Like you also have like right. fast Encore, put a sash on this thing and Destiny Bond it. Like uh, Icy Wind obviously scary, is very yeah. good as well. Um, you it can also gets weather. You can skill swap uh, onto Tyrantrum to give it levitates, and now it's immune to ground. Like there's a lot to really like about this. Yeah. Carter, you're giving me ideas right now. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, you just need to team build with me because I get a lot of ideas from Aaron. 
<laughs> we could all sit down and have team building sessions every single week. And then when we play each other, we're just going to be like, all right, I know everything that they're, they're going to do now. <laughs> well, see, the problem all of their is, options are out on the table. The problem is I'm playing you all so early in the season, I had to like yeah. figure it all out myself. <laughs> so so we, could, we can team build later in the season, then. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, after I've been trashed by your teams, I know what to expect. <laughs> There's there's no Lilip on my team this season, so it's okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this brings us then to oh, uh, rankings, rankings, rankings. Uh, Jay, I gave you a solid seven. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, I gave you an eight. That like it's a very strong team. In my heart, it's a myself... nine point five though. Uh, you you might not guess it, but I I gave myself a nine point five. <laughs> I feel the running trend at this point. Yeah, um, <laughs> it might get a little tired after. A little <laughs> I think it's great. That's all that matters. I think my comments are what's important. For my sure, commentary like, is more important than my rankings. <laughs> the like, you know, the rankings are all super similar, and like they're going to be because all these teams do very similar things on on a hundred different axes. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so like like you were talking about earlier. Um, so many of these teams are meant to, they complement each other so well, um, yeah. that, you know, like you said, it's a pain to have to team build week in and week out because you had to learn 12 new Pokemon, you know, 11 new Pokemon every week to prep for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So it's, extremely <clears throat> difficult. it's, it's, it's great. Brutal. I, I'm it's so, so excited to have like other people in the league this season so it's just like all right i don't know what to do someone help me just bashing my head against the wall week in and week out and the best part is we're all like the community itself is really close mm -hmm. so everyone team builds with each other and like you know you're bringing in one tech that one week and you're like oh wow you know i team built with this person a couple weeks ago their their team you know i should know all all the ideas and then they just come in with something brand new and spank you just push you to the side and then you come back and you beat them in playoffs, and it's like, well, I remember that's what it's all about. There was one uh, one week last season. I sent you uh, Power Herb Special Rhydon. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, I I shot that been, down quick. Everyone keep, in my team building group told me I'm an idiot. <laughs> I keep telling everybody. I go, listen, run special lightning rod Pokemon. Run special Marowak. Run special this like it's really good um and it's definitely not good oh it's <laughs> not but it was it's an idea it was beautiful <laughs> oh. I, I love the idea i thought it was great <laughs> everyone i sent it to besides aaron was so on board and aaron's just like stop it this is bad no like, okay get it out of you <laughs> <laughs> dad said i can't do it <laughs> Yeah, I was disappointed when I didn't see it. You sent me like both two replays, and I was like, "Oh, there's Skarmory, which I told you to use, but where's where's special ride? Where's, where's where's the ride on?" <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have the Golden State as Cavaliers here with Uxi, uh, who took basically my team from last season. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, is this G Max Kingler? Uh, yes. yes. Okay. Yes. So G Max Kingler, Mag Mortar. Um, also have Delibird down here, so like literally my team. Uh, uh, this Firewater Grass Core is looking strong for sure. For this sure, this Trevenant. Trevenant's like really, really good. Um, I think Poliwhirl's kind of whatever. Uh, I I could take or leave the Poliwhirl. Uh, the Kupu, I, like, on the fast side. Kupu's mm -hmm. also in that like same aspect of like yeah. Eh, I don't really care about this. I don't care what it does. But yeah. having access to, like, Magmortar Chirum, I think, is really interesting and, like, can do a ton of damage that way. Um, various forms of speed control between uh, G-Max Foam Burst. You have Trick Room on Trevenant. Uh, you have your Fake Out on Persian, so, like, be able to set up to Trick Room if you need to. Uh, yeah, Persian is probably underrated here at 9. I, um, I agree. I don't, Very underrated. I don't think anyone took it last season. Uh, I don't remember having a team build for it. No, I don't think anyone took it last season, but it did win UD UDL last season. Really? Um, okay, sick. Yeah, it's uh, it's very strong. Gets icy wind, fake out. Mm -hmm. um, also, Yuxi is one of the few players who actually went with some of the new additions this season, and actually went with two, uh, with Jolteon and 
Actually, Mesprit might have been last season as well. But, um, uh, yeah. I, don't, I genuinely I think, don't remember on that I think, one. I think Nova had Mesprit last season potentially, okay. but um, yeah, yeah, Jolteon you know, is strong. Yeah, going up with Jolteon, and also when you have you know three big play, well, two really big players from a championship winning team. Um, no, 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 you had it right. Three. Delhi Bird single handedly won me week one. <laughs> yeah, Delhi, Delhi Bird is actually like. I don't know if they brought it. I think they squished it down from like four points to three points. So like for a three point Pokemon, I actually think it's good. It's basically like Rufflet with worse typing. Um, you and you get Evialite. Ice Shard. You can trigger Snowballs with it. You can trigger <laughs> Snowballs, and that's 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 the important part of this Pokemon. It's definitely not Hustle or anything. <laughs> no, Hustle can make your Snowball miss. Your Ice Shard <laughs> miss. <laughs> Dude, I complained so Jelly many. Is a snowball bot. I complained. To, I know I complained to Aaron so many times last season. The fact that Delibird has hustle, I mean, it has a vital spirit, and uh, insomnia, insomnia is so yeah. dumb. Why can't they give it like a third it. good ability? Like I, I don't even know, but like maybe like a Santa Claus, like like moody type ability. Just. Uh, give it snow cloak like game game free get on it give it slush it, rush <laughs> is slush, slush rush, rush jelly rush. bird too good cool. <laughs> uh yeah i mean you lose hustle so probably not like your attack's really bad <laughs> yeah <laughs> you like really need hustle to do damage um but that's why you have a snowball next to it exactly <laughs> why do damage when you can just ice shard why damage when snowball <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, Uxie's Uxie came to me for like a lot of uh for a decent amount of advice on some of these Pokemon that they were choosing and I think they did a really good good job. Um Kangler and Mag, you know, won RTT last season. Mm-hmm. Extremely strong with speed control, good bulk on Mag Mortar, good speed. Trevenin to take out that fire water grass core. Uh maybe a little bit too top heavy. We haven't really seen that too much in RTT. So we'll we'll kind of see how it plays out. Yeah, I was gonna say this has a lot of damage, um, but mm-hmm. I don't have much here on the way of like damage control. There's a little bit of speed control in like Jolteon. You could probably uh, Electro Web or Mesprit. You can you know Trick Room. I don't. But... I don't think Jolteon actually gets Electro Web. I don't think so either. But Mesprit no, is it does very not. good. I guess T Wave. But... Don't overlook Mesprit. Um, really bulky, really good damage, and it can be both physical or special any week. <laughs> uh, because I think it's base 100s or across the board. Or 105s. 105s, yeah. It's like, yeah. It, it has a really middling, you know stat line but like it's a high average for a lot yeah of that's Pokemon, that's still so. bulky 105 105 and then 80 hp mm-hmm. yeah that's yeah. pretty bulky it's uh it's a cool pokemon and i think that this team has a lot that it uh that uxc can for can sure do well there's there's them. a lot of various forms of speed control um mm-hmm. like you have you technically have access to like max airstreams on deli bird as well and that that can be very relevant yeah. um you know jolteon i think is also I think Jolteon is right there on the fence of, do I want this to be legal? Because, like, mm-hmm. it, dude, it does so much. Uh, having access to, like, so fast. it's so in- incredibly fast. Um, the only thing faster than it is Ninjask, right? There's yeah, nothing else. So, yeah. There's nothing else in that, like, 130 range. Like, Aerodactyl's not legal, right? No. That thing is really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a really good Pokemon. Yeah. Definitely not. Yeah, Jol- yeah Jolteon's the fastest outside of Ninjask. Ninjask. Sweet. Yeah, it, it, it does a lot. You know, like, Fast Yawn is also something we haven't even, like, touched on. Um, it has mm-hmm. also as access to, like, Helping Hand. Um, you can, like, Baton Pass with it. It has Fake Tears. There's there's a lot to really like about this. You know, it, it has wish uh-huh. wish plus volt switch to like <clears throat> do a ton of damage and then heal up whatever's in the back. It yeah, it's really cool. It gets like a baby doll eyes and charm as mm-hmm. well to lower attack. So and it's it's the fastest thing in the format. So I'm not sure which one is like the priority one. I think it's baby doll eyes. It is. Yep. Baby but, doll. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You can run like the fast charm and just get that that two attack drops right away. You know, with Jolteon with its its incredibly high base speed. So why I think this team's really good. why baby doll eyes when you can growl and lower both of their attacks? 
True. Like, unironically, fast growl can be good. Yeah, like <laughs> fast, fast leer. Yeah. I don't know if it gets leer, you know. Uh, it gets tail whip. So, yes. Tail whip? Okay. I don't know if that one does the uh It does. The it hits up. both. It does. All right, yeah. Yeah, sh- tail and whip Jolteon, broken. It has Next to King at least sunny day and rain dance, so you can swap weathers if you really needed to um, from someone else. Oh, fast sunny day to set up for your magma nice. is really sick. That's yeah. really good. That could be really good into my team. And actually, you could Priority fast. Weather. You could fast rain dance to help your Kingler out too, or whatever. Yeah. Swap off of someone else. Yeah. That was that was like the one complaint I had about Kingler last season. Is like it really wants rain to be able to do all this extra damage, but you also want like the speed control of his G Max form. So having access to a fast uh, r- rain setter can be really cool. I think Mesprit also has access to weathers. I believe so too. It definitely has sunny day. I'm not sure about rain dance. It probably does. I wouldn't be surprised. It does have access to both. Okay. It also has access to sandstorm. Nice. Does it get held? It does not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like that would have been crazy. You know, base eighty of like encore on that is also pretty decent. It has access to screens. Like Mesprit can actually be pretty decent as well. I, I'm excited to yeah. see how he does this season. Um, I gave this team a seven two five overall. I gave it a six overall, but I think I was a little bit harsh in like maybe the speed and damage control. You hate Jolteon, um, I understand. Yeah, and a nine point five because I used Methbread in RTT three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't 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 sigh at me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, handful more here to get through. Uh, this is our seven seed, I believe. This is eight. Uh, Oopsie eight, was seven. Eight. Uh, <clears throat> this is yep. the Toronto Torteros piloted, uh, piloted by Iron Knuckle uh, with Musharna, Skarmori, Guzzlord, Perserker, Galarian Slowking, uh, Litten, Lorantis, Mawile, <laughs> Zwilus, Fracture, and Honedge. So some more familiar faces from you. Yeah, yeah, there's there's a lot that I really like on this team. Obviously, like Musharna and Skarmori are um, like near and dear They're to very, my heart. Very good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Berserker was an absolute <clears throat> pain last season to deal with. Uh, Lorantis, I think, can also be very good. I'm not. Yeah, this is. I think sorry. their top end is very good, but like I don't. I'm not really concerned about like Hone Edge or like Fracture. Um, I don't really know like what Zwilus has access to doing. That's not one that it's strong hustle. Uh, oh, it has hustle. Yeah, Interesting. It's kind of just strong, yeah. Yeah, 80, it's 85 85 base attack. attack. Uh, 58 speed is like not the worst. This team really, really wants Trick Room when you actually start looking at their speed tiers and everything. Uh, like Guzzler is yeah, really have... slow. They do have two setters here between Musharna and Slow Slow Bro. Yeah. Yep. Um, yep. Both they of which are a... damn near impossible to one shot in this format as well. They have two dark dragons on their team as well, mm. which is uh, interesting. I mean, they, they, they have multiple steel types, three of them. Yeah. So that's a, uh, a very switch in. But yeah. I think that this team has probably one of the highest damage outputs of any of the any of the squads here. Um, like uh, Berserker plus Skarmory, you could just do max steel spikes and just do a lot of damage mm-hmm. um slowbro g it's what is it it's like a 130 base attack or, so, or no it's 100 attack and special attack but it's very strong it gets belly drum um uh Lurantis, you could just run uh what is it the leaf storm set or the superpower set or mm-hmm. you can do anything uh, uh and musharna even though it's very very bulky um it also has a base 107 special attack very very good I'm looking just to see. Um, I know last season we saw Espion plus Lorantis for tickle shenanigans. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, Mawile has access to tickle. Mawile? Yeah. I did not awesome. know that. That's actually really sick. Uh, Lidden also has like I don't know if I think contrary. Oh, shot. <laughs> I think contrary into parting shot, it, it works. Yes, uh, yeah, it does. On Lorantis, it doesn't work on competitive though. Correct. I learned that the hard way. Um, but yeah, I wanted Skarmory on my team. I thought I think Skarmory is great. Uh, Linen is near and dear to my heart. I think it's 
an absolutely fantastic support Pokemon in RTT. Yeah, it's a great um, Focus Ash holder. <laughs> yeah, it's it's an even better Choice Scarf user. Um, mm -hmm. that, that was my favorite set with uh with my Liddens. Uh, Perserker is you know great for those Steely Spirit boosts since you have Moil, uh, Skarmory, and Perserker yeah. all trying to do yeah, and you know, Hone Edge, Edge technically steal st steal stuff. Um, yeah, I think Skarmory Berserker is going to be a very strong core. Um, Skarmory despite Berserker, the... Guzzlord, Musharna yeah. just sounds ridiculous on paper. Yeah. yeah, I I think if if this team can get like a Trick Room set up, which between their two setters, I don't see a problem in them doing so. Uh, this team can do mm -hmm. a ton. Having access to Double Intimidate as well, and, and like Parting Shot on Litten to be able to just like constantly intimidate things can be very annoying as well. Um, Obviously, between the three dragons, you need to watch out for, like, fairy typings, but you also have access to four steel types on this team. So there is a lot of, like, very similar weaknesses because you have all these overlapping typings. Um, but in, this, in the case of, like, Berserker, that's fine. That just works. It works for your, your advantage. So um, this seems sick. I, I'm, I'm a fan of it. Yeah, I really like this team a lot like there's a lot of cool things that knuckle can do with it Slowbro has a lot of variants involved with like quick draw and uh the shell sidearm with like quick claw you can also just put an evia light on it i'm pretty sure um, on slow bro and just be super bulky yeah can you no no i, I didn't think so it, it was it was one of those weird weird ones one of those weird interactions but it's just bulky kind of on its own uh beforehand and musharna is great uh Double Intimidate with Linen and Mile. Lorantis is threatening. I think that this one also kind of lends to be a little bit more top heavy, but those top, you know, five, six Pokemon are all very useful. Really dangerous. Yeah. Aaron? And uh, Aaron muted uh, himself because the dogs are barking. Oh, gotcha. Uh, yeah, just messaged me. I don't, know, I don't know if you can hear, but it is pouring outside again. <laughs> It is uh, actually very nice here right now, fortunately. Um, but no, I can't hear the rain, so you're good on that end. Uh, so to wrap this team up, I I gave this a solid seven as well, just an even seven across the board. It's sick. I, I'm a fan of it. If it can get Trick Room up, like it can just run away with games. I feel like, and I feel yeah, like this... I gave it a uh... sorry. No, uh, I feel like this team like is so bulky. It's able to set up multiple Trick Rooms in a game too. Like, if it truly yeah. needs to. So I gave it a pretty low score on speed control, but if it does get that trick room up, um, I, it has, like, an 8 on damage control, 8 eight on BGC tools, and 9 on damage output. I gave it a solid 8. Like, it, yeah, if it can get that sure. trick room up, yeah. J? 9.5. <laughs> Nine <laughs> I, was, I was just going to avoid saying it. So <laughs> sigh at me again. <laughs> You don't want to upset dad, I understand. <laughs> no, I, I can't. I can't do that. <laughs> this brings us to uh, my week one opponent. This is the downtown Dialgas piloted by Prime. Uh, we, have Dusk May, uh, we have Dusk, Lycanroc, Gorgeist, Pangoro, Bronzor, Caracosta, uh, Rotom Frost, Turtonator, Ex Alolan Eggy. Arkin, Dedene, and Sandslash. There's there's a lot on this team that I really like. Um, I think mm -hmm. Dedene at four points is highly underrated. Uh, I think Bronzor at five is in that same boat as well. Where like, you know, uh, yeah, Bronzor for sure. Yeah, like yeah. Eviolite like Bronzor, like, is really sick. The fact that like it has access to Levitate. Uh, the fact that you have multiple Levitate users on this team uh, to prevent like Dedene, Turtonator. Uh, Karakasa's weaknesses are all really important, I think. This seems sick. I'm I'm a big fan of what's going on here. I'm a little worried about um, some of the damage mitigation. Uh, maybe you'll find that you need like uh, uh, some screens somewhere on one of these Pokemon. But um, there is a little bit of bulk, like maybe in your uh, your Gorgeist or your uh, your Executor. Um, but other than that, I'm like it's got some damage output. It's got you know. The speed control in um, you can do Rotom Frost with uh, what is that called Electro Web again? I think. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you got Trick Rooms. 
uh, sand slash. I, I don't think you get an easy way to set sandstorm, but you may be, may be able to. Uh, max rockfall with like, yeah, some max rockfalls, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you also have Disquake. I forgot about that. So, yeah. Gorgas has access to Light Screen, but not Reflect. Yeah, a lot of things get Which is only really Light weird. Screen. I think Bronzer gets bold. It does. Okay. Um, um, Rotom? I don't think Rotom gets a screen. Eggy? Might be. I don't know. Yeah, I think you'll have to you'll have to probably figure out a Rotom way to get gets screen Light Screen up. and Reflect. Yeah, Eggy okay. gets both as well. So, um, there's actually plentiful ways to like mitigate damage if you need to yeah i personally am not like a huge fan of a lowland executor in this format um i had it on my team last season and i ended up dropping it for appleton later on mm -hmm. um was that any better I, it was better it uh okay. thick fat was good uh gotcha. so that you're just not dead to ice type attacks um it's damage outpo is a little bit better and it could be both physical or special and i thought that was cool um, so i guess a quick aside real quick um yeah one of my biggest um draft league uh advice i guess advices is don't draft 4x weaknesses um because <laughs> that's before. very very easy to just tech on a, a grass type move for your caracosta on you know something you wouldn't expect yeah. it's not it's not a rule like a, a hard and fast rule it's just my rule of thumb they fortunately do have a lot of good counters to like grass type moves like uh -huh. executor and tornator are both um you know four times resists uh caracosta is a good switch into the ice type mm -hmm. attacks on executor i think that the main problem i guess i see with this team is that a lot of these pokemon kind of fall in that middle speed tier like <laughs> lower than like now you see why I'm having problems with it. Because <laughs> like, I also yeah. had that problem. <laughs> and like higher than... It, it's just like in a very awkward area. Like I yeah, have you don't have I've used before. And like that was just a little too slow. Um, you know, if you get Trick Room up, I think that this team is really scary. But you also have a mode that really wants to, to go fast with Lycanroc and Karakosk. Yeah, and you don't really have a great way to uh, to go faster other than... Electro webs, I guess. Two waves or something like I that. I don't think the Dene gets Electro web. I know Rotom does. Uh, I think Dene gets. I think the Dene yeah, only gets nuzzle. gets nuzzle. Nope, no Electro web. No. Wait, yeah, it does. Dead. I have oh, no I'm blind. I I okay. evidently can't type. Um, but other than that, it gets. It doesn't get as many uh, things as I would like it to. Um, like, it doesn't get Fake Out, which I would hope it would have had. It does get Helping Hand, Electro Web. Yeah, it's, it's Ally Switch, which is interesting. It's not a, it's not a true Pika clone. It doesn't have access to yeah. Fake Out. Yeah. It's if it got Fake Out. a little weak as well. Like, yeah, that's cheek true. Pouch, pick up plus. Like, you're not really going to run Cheek Pouch on, on this. It's not that bulky. No. Yeah, 57 and fake out, 67 minus. defenses are pretty poor. Yeah. I was going to say, if it has Fake Out... Um, I like the typing kind of, but it's just, it is just very not bulky. I mean, I really wish this thing had access to like lightning rod or just like any yeah, other ability, like any good ability on the dinner. I think this thing could actually be usable. Plus, you could maybe yeah. use, but I don't not on this team. I don't think anything else here has access to it. Unfortunately, not on this team, no. Um, uh, actually, you know what's interesting is uh, it gets entrainment, which oh, that's cool. I actually did that, not know that. Kind of okay. cute, but that is, that is very cute. I think Turtonator is like really, really good though, and something that should definitely not be slept on. Yep. It, it has so many different modes that it can run, and it's bold. Yeah, that's a very good point. Absurd. Yeah, it's, it's really in, good uh, into like, my sun like, mode. Really, really good. <laughs> yeah, and it can just be a body press bot with iron defense. It could, uh, it gets wide guard, which is always good. Um, and yeah, it's a it's, that's a very strong Pokemon, and I think that you know a lot of Prime's damage output is going to come from that. Mm -hmm. the Caracosta and like the lichen rock. Yeah. Yeah. Overall, I had this team a little lower, um, I, just because of the the lack of the damage control I saw, and then a little bit of the lack of the speed control as well. Um, but I mean, seeing it now and again, like there's there's multiple ways you can set up screens, which is nice. Um, I still think I would like a little bit more, maybe speed control, but that's just me. I, I love speed control. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I have this as a uh, a seven five. Yeah, you know, before looking at this team, I had it as a nine point five, and now that I'm looking at it again, its speed is a little lacking, and I'm probably gonna move it to like a nine point five. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I'm going home, guys. I can't put up with this anymore. <laughs> Me too. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll see myself out. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Aaron, you want to hit that ban button for me over there, real quick? <laughs> I don't want to be actually, the one to do it. I don't want to. Feel I am bad. actually ruining friendships <laughs> just, just by trying to be generous. <laughs> this brings us to uh, our tenth seed. This is the Poe Town Throwdown, uh, piloted by Jace, having access to Cradily, Rotom Fan, Throw, Drapion, Copper Raja, uh, Claydol, Wigglytuff, Lopunny, Frillish, Basculin, and Frostlass thoughts this one i think probably has the most potential um it has a lot of different things that it could do i think um i feel like yeah i mean my biggest complaint about this team is there's i don't quite know like what form of speed they want to go for that's that's yeah that's the thing is you need to like maybe frost last for icy wind fast icy wind i think it also gets trick room let me double check that that i don't know um, but like yeah, you, have, not, you have clay doll. It does trick not. Room, yeah. for trick room. But like their it's trick a, room mode is really good with like copper Raja yeah. being able to just like punch things. Very good. Yeah. Uh, Wigglytuff. Uh, Wigglytuff is slow. Yeah. Wigglytuff uh, with Prigley. competitive is pretty decent. Uh, throw is also fairly slow and bulky. Drapion is like that middle speed tier, right? I think it's base ninety five. Is it that fast? Yeah, it's it's quite fast. Yep, ninety five. Dang. Look at you all with uh, the knowledge. You, you do actually yep. have uh, Disquake. Last season. What, Aaron? I'm sorry? You do actually have Disquake, but it's, it's probably not the best. Claydol, I don't think, has the best uh, physical attack. No. Yeah, it's uh, it's 70. really good. Yeah. Um, I think that, like, like you both said, like it's maybe a little confused on what mode it, it wants to go with directly. Um, you have like Drapion, who's fast and bulky, but you also have Kaparaja, who's slow and frail. Um, I really like Cradilly and Frillish. Like that's a really good combination. Basculin is a good offensive water type that can ignore, ignore Cradilly's uh, Storm Drain if you wanted to. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Basculin's something I'm, I'm pretty high on myself. It has the Mold Breaker, um, so you can yeah. like ignore you know a lot of things. Um, also has adaptability too. Yeah, which is very cool. Um, it's got 97 base uh, speed, I think. Is that right? 98. 98. Mm-hmm. Um, it gets Icy Wind, I think. It gets Taunt. I think Taunt, uh, Mold Breaker Taunt might go through like Magic Bounce it does. and stuff like that, too. Because, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Mold Breaker ignores abilities completely. Um, Ignore that 50% wonder skin on Sigil. <laughs> like, Throw also has Mold Breaker, which I didn't realize. Uh, all three of Throw's that abilities weird. are pretty decent. Like, Guts, Inner Focus, and Mold Breaker are all really decent. Um, yeah, throw is really good. The downside oh, it doesn't is get like, map block anymore. It's fairly Sorry. slow still. Like, you know, base 45 speed is fairly slow. So, between like Throw, <laughs> Copper Raja, and like Claydol Wigglytuff and and Cradily. You have this like really slow mode. Um but like your fast mode of like Rotom Fan, Drapion, Low Punny, Basculin, and like Frostlass is kind of whatever. Um I I feel like their fast mode can be fine having access to like ma- stab airstreams off of Rotom, I think can be fine. Um unfortunately you just like Rotom Fan is just like so bad and in the traditional sense of like it just doesn't have an ability it just doesn't get to do anything it would be nice if it had like volt absorb or something just literally but... anything else give it motor drive <laughs> yeah that'd be nice that would be cool <laughs> but unfortunately this is why i don't work for pokemon because i my ideas are too good <laughs> so i i don't know i think this seems fine um i think this team's really going to come down to like how well jace pilots it and like what nuances they can find throughout the season that can really help them make edge cases for each week. Um, overall, I gave this a 625. But, like, again, if they play really well, this could be uh, easily, like, one of the top seeds in playoffs. 
yeah, yeah I agree. This, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Jace is like one of the best players for that sure I've ever played against. It. He's just ridiculous. So I'm sure he'll make really good use of this team. And uh, I ranked this a number. I gave it a number. Um, oh, okay. That, that I'm not gonna say <laughs> <laughs> to avoid to avoid uh, Carter and, and Aaron getting mad at me. We won't yeah, I think that this has mad. a lot of potential here. Nine point five. Let's go. Good job, Jace. <laughs> throw goat <laughs> <laughs> i like throw a lot though i think it's going to be really good for for jace this season i hope for so i really do hope so I think, it's, I think it's really strong aaron final thoughts yeah i think this is a very very interesting team i think it has a lot of um interesting versatile mons um i think i yeah i ranked it eight for damage output overall um yeah it's a i think it's going to be a, a strong strong team yeah, so uh, on my on my uh, the way I did it is I went from twelve to one. So like my later the the earlier picks, I feel like I I was really like in sync and knew what was going on and everything. Um, so some of these earlier picks I feel like are pretty low overall. Um, but like I also think that like it's because I wasn't in my groove yet. But whatever, mm. grades grades don't mean anything. No, it's the commentary that really matters. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so this brings us to Aaron's team. Uh, the Columbus wow. Cub Boos with Dusk Noir, Reg Ice, War Turtle, Sceptile, uh, Dracloak, Clinkling, Stoutland, Galvantula, Soul Rock, Dunsparce, and Spirit Tomb. What do y'all think? I was upset that you took Clinkling. Dude, Clink yeah, so I heard, sick. I remember, yeah. I wanted it. I think Stoutland's really good. I agree. Galvantula is an awesome late round pick with like Electro Web, Sticky Web. Um, I know we were talking about Reg Ice before we we started recording, but uh -huh. I, that one's like that's a Pokemon that's near and dear to my heart. I think it's great. Um, maybe lacks a little bit without the weakness policy, but um, yeah, really strong. Like maybe the damage output is a little bit low. Um, but I think that you have a lot of you know, like a quantity of very strong attackers and good damage mitigation, um, along with like really solid bulk across the board that will allow you to maybe not take games really quickly, but take games by um, living longer and and doing more damage in the end in the end run. So uh, something you know, we we talked about snowball for like twenty minutes earlier. Um, something that you have access to, uh, because you have access to like Aqua Jet, you have Absorb Bulb, which can be really useful for like your Red Ice as well, uh, as and mm -hmm. like and like Clink Clang as well. Um, uh, both of them, have, and honestly, like Spirit Tomb, like all these have like just high enough special attack where getting plus one can be really beneficial. Um, I think Dracloak being able to be pretty fast and have access to like Will O Wisp can be very useful. Uh, Clinkling has a lot of things that like I've played it in a couple different draft leagues. And I've been really impressed with it. Um, Stoutland and Galvantula, like Jay said, are both really absurd. Uh, both of them can do a ton of different things. Um, War Turtle's great. You know, it, it's just like it, it's really high in bulk like obviously it's not it's not meant to be like a damage output kind of mon but being able to you know aqua jet to break sashes or icy wind or uh -huh. fake out or even if you really need that damage output you can shell smash with it and just like start running people <sighs> over yeah that's true um you also get yawn and a whole bunch of other support as well which is all really yep. really good life do scald do we have anything yep. with pen missile on this team does galvantula get it it Why does. Pin what does pin missile do? Uh, for Dunsparce, for rattled. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think about that. It's yeah, so rattled. you can be hella fast, Dunsparce. <laughs> See, these That's are funny. these are things you're not prepared for. <laughs> no, I'm not. No. Dunsparce is sick. Uh, I think Serene Grace funny. is <laughs> is so so good of an ability. Um. Uh, Serene Grace, Body Slam, and Air Slash, actually. And Ancient Power. Like, 24% Omniboost sure. is, like, sick. <laughs> uh, it's not the worst bulk, either. It's 70 defense, 65 spadef, 100 HP. Uh, you also so, have, like, Blizzard, so, like, 20% like <laughs> chance to freeze either Vaughn is kind of gross. Um, just run Blunder Policy, Serene Grace. You have Coil, you have Calm Mind, you have Curse. Um... 
you also have dual wing beats, so like you can be physically like physical with uh, airstream as well. There's mm -hmm. uh, you also have glare. Like Dunsparce does a lot. Man. Oh yeah, honestly, I forget about glare sometimes. Uh, you also, as a normal type, have access to roost. <laughs> Uh, Thunder it's Wave, weird Yawn, moves, yeah. dude, it's so weird. It is such a weird Pokemon, and I'm excited to see what you do with it, because like, me too. Like, this is really cool. Seventy and sixty-five on your offensive stats are not bad. Like, honestly, they're not bad. Um, yeah, when you can like call Mind or Coil, and just like put some put some lefties on this, run a Serene Grace. And just like go to town and like be either physically or especially offensive or just be, you know, really supportive with Yawn, T Wave, uh, you know, just Baton Pass, like Omni Boost Baton Pass. Hell yeah, sign me up. You also you also get Bulldoze as like a, another swarm of speed control. I feel like I spent like 20 minutes talking about Dunsparce and I'm okay with it. <laughs> It's a it's a great Pokemon, is what we're we're, we're re realizing. Three points for this. Yep, exactly. Um, I actually really like that pick after hearing a lot of the things you know that Carter was saying about it. Uh, I also I highly rate Sceptile. Um, you know I think that for your team it's going to be how are you going to get that unburden boost with it? Absorb right, bulb. exactly. We just talked through this. Absorb bulb is one of the, is one option. Like unironically is very good. No, like very very good. There's like focus sash potentially, you know, uh, electric terrain is something that can be set up with like Galvantula. I think mm -hmm. that, you know, Sceptile's um, ceiling is kind of going to be made or make made or broken by how well it's used and how well you can get on burden boosts with it. But uh, I think that this team is really, really good. What's what was your thought process behind uh, taking Dust Noir so high? Uh. I just love, like, I just look at its stats real quick. Uh, Dusk. 100 attack. Uh, it has 135 defense and 135 special offense. It's it's very bulky. It's got the damage output, and it also has trick room. It also has 45 HP. Which yeah, like... that's true. <laughs> which is a little yikes. But, I mean, um... when, when you're talking your defensive stats that high, like, it makes up yeah. for it in some degree. It's... You get pain split. <laughs> it's it's you the... Get, uh... it's... It's the Blissey, like, you know, conundrum where, sure, yeah. you have super high attack or HP, but when your defense is ten, it doesn't really matter. So I yeah, so we'll see how much it can actually take, but um, yeah, it's got it's got like Will O Wisp, got Taunt, Brick Room. I love um, I love how you and I talked quite a bit about like Soul Rock and Lunatone, and then you and I end up with both of them, and just like <laughs> yeah, this is great. This is it, like honestly. Yeah, I, uh, having something that like is immune to ground and also resists airstream was really important for my team. Yeah, um, I definitely needed a rock type. I thought. Yeah, it, it gets yeah. honey day rain dance. It gets screens trick room. I think they both get meteor beam as well, which is always a concern. Interesting, yeah. Uh, and just something important that I wanted to just point out about Dusnor is basically Dusnor's like stats is just like Dusclops without Eviolite. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's uh, so I mean, it's still bulky. It's just like, you know, you you really love that extra bulk on Dusclops and like formal VGC because of that that Eviolite. It just boosts you so much. But I think Dust Noir with like the lowered power level makes that Eviolite a mm -hmm. little bit less less necessary. So yeah, you could like, you could hold a leftovers yeah. now and and you also get to be uh, like actually offensive with like poltergeist as opposed to yeah you know just shadows yeah with your base 100 jade and attack and will-o-wisp and yeah yeah i thought that that uh, since i had pretty close to a uh, uh end pick that plus red ice as a uh you know mm -hmm. for from core that was a pretty uh that was my thought process there is get a trick room core going you can also you can also have access to trick on dust noir which is not something i realized it had access huh. to yeah yeah. Uh, also has imprison, which I didn't know. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. That's that's something that can be a really good way to shut down like the aromatis and uh, mm -hmm. spritzy team. Also has skitter smack to get people. <laughs> skitter yeah, smack. it's it's very interesting. Skitter it's got like ally switch as well. Skitter smack is so good. I love it. Um, Too bad it's a bug type move. So like it's awful. <laughs> Something else that I was uh, 
uh, trying, well, not, not necessarily even trying to do, but it, um, these monotype Pokemon I, I drafted, it just, like, really mitigates how many weaknesses I actually have, like, shared Agreed. weaknesses Agreed. I actually have. Yeah. Um, like, there's a little bit of a fighting weakness here with uh, Regice, uh, Clink Clank, Stoutland, but, like, I also have two, three ghost types. Um, and Galvantula, who resists. Yeah, Galvantula. It's... I just thought it was a very interesting way to go about it, like with all these monotype Pokemon. I agree. Yeah. I, I'm pretty excited for it. Um, I really hope Dunsparce does something for you this season. It's like <laughs> we'll see. It's like yeah, my it's like between it and Stoutland and like Galvantula, like those three are like some of my favorite Pokemon on your team. I'm excited to see how they play. Thank you. So I gave it. I gave you a solid seven and a half. I think that's that's really good. Uh, Jay's obviously going to give you a nine and a half. So on average, yeah, that brings you to right. an eight and a half. Which you know is really good, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I really like um, what you were saying with like your your dual types. I think that the way you picked your dual types is really good because a lot of them have either an ability or a secondary typing that negates like a big weakness for them. Like Galvantula is no longer weak to ground because of the bug typing. Mm -hmm. So Rock isn't weak to ground because of Levitate, um, and that covers really well. Yeah, yeah I, I was gonna give this a nine point five. You know, what if Thank I you. didn't, though? What if I, <laughs> I talked you out of it. It's actually it's actually a 925. How does that make you feel, Aaron? <laughs> so this brings us to... If I can get it to cooperate. This brings us to our Final team. last team of the day. Uh, this is Matthew Sandslash, is piloted by none other than Ma Don Mateo himself. Uh, this seems sweet, with Pikachu, Guardi... Uh, Duck Trio, Base Rotom, Magmar, Altaria, Skunk Tank, G Max, Machamp, Sea King, Scyther, and Blossom. Open floor for discussion. This is my uh, week one matchup. Um, so I've been this quick. It. It's. Uh, I just. I don't know where like the Pikachu pick was going. You know, like I'm still trying to to figure out what like what why Pikachu. But I'm sure I'm gonna figure out. Is it? Next week. I'm assuming it's G Max, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, um, like G Max, Machamp, G Max Pikachu is like really interesting. Um, I, the problem with Pikachu is it's 90 speed. Um, yeah. A little too slow, but if it can get off a whatever the G Max move is, you're paralyzing both things. And then you have you know you have Rotom here. You could have, you can, uh, I mean, outspeed with basically anything in the rest mm -hmm. of the team. Altaria has, like, um, some pretty decent bulk, uh, especially if you, like, cotton guard with it. Uh, it can just become, like, physically impossible to kill. Um, <clears throat> you also have Max Wormwind on it to, like, lower their attack to make you even better. Guardi's pretty decent. as like, you know, th both of its typings are very offensively pressuring. Um, Psychic and Fairy mm -hmm. are both very good. Dugtrio being a very fast... Uh, uh, like, uh, an absurdly fast Pokemon that can do, like, okay damage um is like good the the ability to trap your opponent i think is like really really important for doug trio um like if they just lead inappropriately against it you just get like double ko's and can just sweep up the game yeah you you get yeah. just quake with that and rotom too uh, it's just always good uh how does yeah. magmar line up we have i really wanted magmar i i think it's it, it's it's like it has base 95 attack base 100 special defense special attack and like 93 speed it has a surprisingly it's, high base stat total yep. at yeah 495 it's, like, it's fast it's strong it's like just slightly weaker mag mag mortar without thunderbolt but you also get uh you also get access to evil light so like its yeah. bulk is way higher than the mag mortar yeah, the downside is is like damage. especially offensive you're not doing as much damage um, both have flame body, both have vital spirit. On honestly, uh, Magmar was something I looked at quite a bit when I was looking at like an offensive fire type, and I ended up taking Jolteon because I, I, I mean, uh, Flareon because I, you know I've never played with it. And I was excited to, and obviously playing with Magmortar all all last season, I wanted to try something new. Um, so I'm excited to see how Magmar actually works out for him. On on paper, it looks very good. Yeah, it's like I said, it was something I was very interested in. I was upset to see it go. Um, I think that this team is 
really cool. Altaria has like Cloud Nine, Tailwind, so it shuts down a lot of these um, weather matchups that there's quite a few teams of. Uh, knowing that mine is one of them, and I have to play this team week one. It's actually oh, one wow. of the few mons that have access to Tailwind in this format. Yeah. And, like, Doug Trio is really good for speed control, and uh, it also gets Memento, which is one of my favorite techs with it. Just just kill your, just, just die with the Doug Trio and drop the stats and, and move on, bring in something that's going to, you know, have a better mm -hmm. position in this. And, yeah, Machamp's good. Sea King's good. Scyther was another Pokemon I was very interested in. It's, like, base 110 attack like base 103 yeah. speed or something. also gets uh technician technician, uh, yeah. technician stab dual wing beat and yeah. what was actually really interesting about scyther um is it when, when it evolves to scissor it actually doesn't gain any base stat like total um so like it just moves it it, it like its stats are just rearranged to where it's way less uh. fast um mm -hmm. but because of that it's a base 500 BST that can hold Eviolite, which is just absurd. Yeah, right. That's why it is banned, like, so far and beyond in D-Pack. It's, it's ridiculous, like... <laughs> yeah, there were, that, there were multiple times I'm just like, Aaron, I really want Scyther. I, I wanted it too. I, everyone wanted it. I think yeah. it's really good. I also told him I really wanted Shedinja, and he's just like, no, I'm not drafting no, this. That, that is a bad choice. <laughs> he he texted me when uh, he texted me on Sunday. He's like, I'm not drafting it. Stop it. I'm like, uh, Aaron. I'm not doing he it. kept giving it to me. And I think every list, I like all three days, I sent him multiple, like, uh, rounds and I think every day had Shininja on it somewhere. <laughs> so just no. to to wake have him wake up and send me a text that just says I'm not drafting it. Stop it. <laughs> it's not happening. Not today. Not tomorrow. Not the next day. <laughs> He's threatened to pick it up with his free agent. I, did. <laughs> I threatened to drop something just to go pick up Shininja just to have it. <laughs> I'm excited for uh, G Max Machamp. I I love it. <laughs> I love Machamp. It's so cool. Um, I want it to be good. I really, really do. Yeah, keep your eyes out on the Week One matchup because uh, Matt's known for bringing King's Rock Snarl to our matchups and getting the flinches when he needs them. Hell so, yeah! Uh, I think King's Rock Skun Tank is gonna make a return. Hell yeah! And, yeah I love it. Not gonna be fun. <laughs> Sorry, could you repeat that? Uh, King's Rock Skuntank with Snarl. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah, I think that Matt's going to bring it. He brought it uh, King's Rock Hydreigon and flinched my Azumarill when I was going to Belly Drum and uh, lost from there. It was just impossible for me to come back. No, nah, the, the real tech is uh, King's Rock Electro Web on Rotom. <laughs> <laughs> I broke Jay. <laughs> He already showed that there's a King's Rock. That was something I didn't even think about, and now I'm so concerned. Could also be like King's Rock Bulldoze on Duck Trio, uh, <laughs> dual Wing Beat Scyther to you know potentially trigger it. You know, twice as, twice as likely. Or, yeah. Yeah. This is a, that's this is a nightmare now. <laughs> I have just ruined Jay's day so hard. I, I, I live it. I live in a world of pain, and this yeah. is this is why. <laughs> this is exactly what I signed up for today. <laughs> a bunch of nine point fives, and Carter just was like, "Listen, I'm gonna ruin your whole entire, you know, everything you thought about. It's a lie. They're all running King's Rock." <laughs> He's actually running King's Rock and Razor Fang. Or is it Razor? No, it's Razor Claw. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to put Fling Razor Claw on something. I need, to, just gonna, geez, I need to text, text Matthew real quick. Me. No reason. Yeah. Yeah. You, I, I guess that, that's payback for me being way too, uh, for copping out on these rankings and letting you be the bad guys. <laughs> This is this has been a journey. I've enjoyed this yep, so much. This, this has been so much fun. Uh, so closing thoughts on Matthew's team here. Uh, gave it a solid seven. I think. Same. I think that it's uh, it can be very good. And Matt is known to do very wonky things, and they pay off for him. So I'm excited to yeah, see. Yeah, I think it has the tools to 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 go pretty far. I, I'm excited to see how I lose to it this season. <clears throat> 
Me too. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I, I'm keeping that same energy, though, and sticking with a 9.5 for Matt. Um, I think I honestly really do think that everyone's team was, like, as good as each other and really, really just solid across the board. I, I did rank everyone's things and did give them an overall. Um, and, yeah, I just think that everyone's team was really, really good. And I'm excited to see how everyone performs this season. For sure. Uh, so I think... You know, an hour and a half later, that's going to do it for us. I, I told you all before we started recording, this is basically going to be a, like, podcast-length episode. <laughs> I was not ready for it, but honestly, uh, I think we did, like, really good here, except for Jay today. Uh- <laughs> I stink. Just ban me from every single community that I'm in. Just just um, exile me. I'm going to go I'll, message I'll Apple me. about banning you from RTT. I'm going to... Yeah, I- a message all the DPEC organizers be like, listen guys, I can't I can't stick around. Gotta go. Carter Har- said in my rankings were too generous and, and he wasn't harsh you know, enough. He was too kind I, to people. I ruined the concept <laughs> of power rankings by ranking everybody the same. When everyone is equal, no one is special. <laughs> well, we'll have somebody who's really special. Someone maybe a new trash king. Um maybe the same one who knows i would i would like to continue my reign that's all i'm saying yeah i'm named i named my team after castle and elden ring so i can graft everyone in gold and be the king of my own castle um (laughs) yeah (laughs) aaron my dude closing thoughts uh yeah i'm i'm really excited to be in this league to or this uh season um and excited to see how people you know prep their teams uh i've never been in like a lower power format but i've, I've obviously obviously helped uh carter in the past so we'll see how that goes we're really excited to have you over here yeah we're, we're always happy to have new players and you know we've had the same like rotating kind of 12 players so to have somebody new you know last season with carter and somebody new this season with you is uh is really awesome and i'm excited to have you on if uh, if we had Thank more you. spots, Swede was gonna join as well. So yeah, yeah. He he had messaged me multiple times. He's like, "When does sign up start? When can I get in? Am I gonna be able to join?" <laughs> so I told him that Aaron took the last spot. He's like, "Oops, okay." <laughs> yeah, sign ups filled in like it was like less than a day. Yeah, it was and, a few yeah. hours. Yeah, it was, Sweet it was on my, insane. my Twitch stream and was like, oh, I was going to play RTT. I'm upset I can't make it in. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but like it's it's highly competitive to, to get in. And it's like previous coaches come first and then we only had one spot for someone new. It was uh, it was tough to get in this season yep. for sure. And luckily, Aaron was already in the server. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep. luckily uh, you didn't you, you f- fixed your mistake of leaving that one time after. the. Uh... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and yeah you made it back in time we're we're always happy to to be having new players and see what you can do murphy do you want to make an appearance is, is murph yeah. gonna make it on the cast come on come on come here oh come here don't run away <laughs> <laughs> come here. Come on. he's a big boy i love him <laughs> Here he is, Murphy. <laughs> oh, you talked. Oh my gosh! All right, we got him. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. I oh wait, I can't hear you all. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled out my microphone. He seriously just attacked. All right, hello. Hello. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> this is a journey. I love it. I absolutely love it. This is a great time. Really, thank you so much for having me on. For sure, man. Um, for sure. Yes. Thank you, Carter. Yeah. Yeah. This is this has been uh this has been great. Um, before we get out of here, do you all want to plug anything? Uh, social media is all that good stuff where people can find yeah. you. Uh, follow me over on Twitch. I stream there like once, twice a week, most of the time. Normally VGC stuff. Um, you know, Deepak, all that over at twitchtv slash jmcg 1010 yeah come visit I'm, I'm always i'm streaming a lot and doing some fun stuff so come hang out aaron uh i haven't been streaming recently but i i have a twitch uh at navi or strks um i've been playing some mario 64 sometimes but other than that just you know come join the communities the discord 
LRL, RTT, etc. Yeah, I I wasn't sure if like if RTT is like a public server, so I haven't plugged it on anything. Oh, okay. Um, I yeah. I wasn't sure, uh, and I didn't want to you know interfere with anyone before uh, before we made it public. If if you know, because th- it's not my community, like it's not my server. I don't have that power to say, yeah, we're gonna do this. So um if so you know be on the lookout uh join our discord that's where uh all of our affiliations and everything are so if it does ever become public there you go so uh i think that's going to be it for today uh seriously thank you all so much uh this has been a a journey and a half and i i'm really excited for this season so um that is going to be it for today everyone Thank you so much. We're going to get out of here before Murph kills the computer. (laughs) (laughs) Seriously. Have a good one, everyone. Peace. Peace out, everyone.